In this brief tutorial, we'll be demonstrating how to use the undergraduate lab's oscilloscope and function generator to view a signal. What we see here is the lab workbench with the oscilloscope mounted to the right and the function generator to the left. First, let's focus on the function generator to the left. We'll use the function generator to create a sine wave to be viewed on the oscilloscope. For now, we're only concerned with the function generator's power button to the left and the coaxial output port to the right. The other buttons allow the user to change the shape, amplitude, and frequency of the output waveform. For this example, we'll be using the default values. We turn the function generator on by pressing the power button. The display indicates that a 1 kHz sine wave is being output. Next, in order to view the waveform on the oscilloscope, we connect one end of a coaxial cable to the output port, as shown. A little later, we'll be connecting the other end of that cable to the oscilloscope. Now, let's move over to the other side of the workbench, where the oscilloscope is mounted. In this demonstration, we'll be using the main display and the six soft menu keys underneath it. Note the rectangular white power button at the bottom. Also notice the input port labeled A1 and the gray voltage and time division knobs. Above that lies the measurement section. We'll be using the voltage measurement button seen at the top left. As with the function generator, we press the power button to turn the oscilloscope on. Next, we'll take the other end of the coaxial cable which is connected to the function generator and plug it into port A1. When a connection is made, the 1 kHz sine wave appears on the screen, but it is difficult to see its detail because it is improperly scaled. To fix this, we simply press the white auto scale button. This changes the display's horizontal and vertical scales, allowing the waveform to be easily seen. The display's vertical scale can also be changed manually by turning the voltage division knob. Similarly, the horizontal scale can be changed by turning the time division knob. Keep in mind that changing the scale does not affect the waveform, but only changes how it is displayed. We now press the measure voltage button to bring up the voltage measurement menu on the display. The menu's soft keys correspond to the peak-to-peak, -peak, average, and RMS voltage measurements. The measure value slides into the screen when the V peak to peak button is pressed. The horizontal lines on the display indicate the peaks of the waveform being measured. In similar fashion, we can measure the function's average voltage by pressing the V average button. Its measurement also slides in. When you are finished making measurements, you can clear the display by pressing the Clear Measurement Soft key. This concludes our brief tutorial of the function generator and oscilloscope. Feel free to experiment with them on your own. Just remember to leave things as you found them when you're done.